unfortunate madam speaker ten weeks ago on this floor there was great celebration by our colleagues in the republican party as they took control of this house and there were many sermons given to all of us by the members in the majority party about the need to listen to americans i suggest we do that at this moment as we consider this bill ten million seven hundred eighty thousand two hundred thirty six american families are crying out for help we should be listening to them i know that the gentle lady from madam speaker the gentle lady from uh, illinois has a big heart and she knows that four hundred thirty thousand of the homeowners in illinois are crying out for relief and i'm certain madam speaker that the author of this bill the gentleman from alabama is well aware that in his state thirty five thousand homeowners are crying out for relief and i'm certain that all of the members of the republican party are listening to the ten ten million seven hundred eighty thousand two hundred and thirty six families in america that are crying out for relief i can assure you the democrats are listening my amendment madam speaker is one that goes to one of the three reasons why they are crying out for relief there was no regulation imposed during the years 2001 to 2009. That was one problem. We attempted to address that with the Frank Dodd law that's now in place. The second reason was irresponsibility. And certainly some of those homeowners who are crying out for relief were irresponsible, and certainly some of those who lost their homes already were crying out for, that are crying out for relief were irresponsible. But the big irresponsibility were the bankers in this nation that took advantage of millions upon millions of homeowners and engaged in irresponsible activity. The third item is where my amendment goes, and that is to Wall Street greed. We know from the commission that was assigned the responsibility of looking at why the great crash occurred, we know from that report that greed was the underlying motivation for Wall Street. My amendment goes to that greed. In the future, not in the past, and some of my colleagues have spoken to the need for criminal action, which is also part of that report done by the Commission. This goes to the future. This amendment goes to the future and says, for those in Wall Street, the high and the mighty, that get the huge bonuses, most of which were just in the news for this week, that their bonuses should be in the stock of the company in which they are operating, and that those bonuses be held in an escrow account for a period of time, so that either the good or the bad effect of their action would be known, and so that they could not take immediate benefit from their irresponsible actions. This amendment would put a damper on Wall Street greed. This amendment is necessary to put a damper on Wall Street greed, and it goes directly to one of the reasons why this bill is before us. This bill is before us, I think in, the, in an inappropriate way, to deal with the housing crisis. The housing crisis was caused in part by Wall Street greed. We ought to be addressing that. That's what this amendment does, by withholding from immediate benefit those members of Wall Street who have created the crisis in the past and who may very well be in the process of creating tomorrow's crisis. I ask for the support of this amendment.